Well, how are the children to do this? Here, the queen quit coming to her one more again from the kingdom of Oya Tunji. Right here in Sheldon, South Kakalaki, in the Gullah Geechee Nation. Look who come here. This here, the talking Ooh. drum. Now, honey, children, I know you don't see me with one talking drum and eat my arm, but this here talking drum can look at me. How honey to do talking drum? How honey to do? Okay, I take the blink, it's fine. So, Brother Jeremiah, Alafia, how are you? Good. So now, I see you just came riding up with talking drum like people drive cars now. You look like you and the horse are what? How long have you been riding? I've been riding for. I was about 12 years old, I've been riding and training horses. And so now that's how long, I mean, since you're 12, we don't really know how I'm old you are. I'm 21, so I was Oh, okay. Yeah, nine so years. nine years. Oh, the number of completion. So now, have, did you grow up here in Oyoton? Ah, yeah. Oh, so right up the road. Okay, right next door. So you own a lot of horses? No, actually I own like one. Just one? What kind, what kind do you own? I own a thoroughbred. It's back there. Oh, oh, so yours live here too? We're talking drunk. So what's the name of your horse? Mine, I call him Buckshot. Buckshot. Oh, that's interesting because the other day they gave a, a proclamation to a restaurant here in the Gullah Geechee Nation called Buckshot. Mm. Because there was a Gullah Geechee gentleman, God bless it, that named Buckshot. So your horse is that mm -hmm. ancestral energy right there. So now who named talking drum, talking drum? The chief. The chief did. And you are training the chief on how to ride. Yes, yeah, so now what kind of what kind of horse are you talking, Drum? Could you tell me? Jeremiah gonna help me out? Okay then. So <laughs> now I'm his voice. Uh, I know. <laughs> so now what kind of horse? He's a quarter horse. Quarter horse. Yes, the quarter horse is the breed. The paint is just the color of a horse. That's like when they got the white and black yes. uh patterns on mm -hmm. one animal or whatnot. And then if you see as if you get washed. Yeah. Around the white and black rider and he got a blue tracing around all the black. Oh, almost like indigo. Yeah, I yeah. can see it right here. If you, you wet him, you'll see that blue spot right there. Oh, it, it brightens up? Dark, oh, it dark turns blue. darker. Mm -hmm. Oh, so then you become more and more indigo as the water strikes, huh? It's called tricolor. Yeah. Tricolor. Mm -hmm. Beautiful. So you got the trinity going on, huh, target drop? Yes? That's a good thing. Yeah, you look like you nod like, yes, you totally agree with me. This is a wonderful thing. You are a blessing. So now we know that many chiefs often ride the horse. We know you are a Yes, that they ruled your ancestors. And so Jeremiah is keeping up this tradition here in the Gullah Geechee. Yes, you agree. I see. So now I hear the talking drum signaling here in the village. I hear it. Is that the sound you usually move to? Is that to let us know that the chief is coming, you think? Yes? To tell us some more words from Oyotunji? You think? Yes? So now how long does it usually take to learn how to ride? It depends on the person. It can take anyway from a month, three months. It depends on how quick you adjust and learn. To, to balancing. It's pretty much, a, it's all about the fear of horses. Once you get to overcome that fear, then you can really begin to learn. Yeah. But at the same time, you can kind of learn a little bit, but you still have a lot of fear, and that fear is going to kind of hinder you from like well, getting, being able. Yeah, being able to learn the complete experience. The biggest thing is just to not be afraid of them. And, and the, really, horses are just as scared of you as you are of them. So it's kind of like a learning process for both parties at all times. Right. Like you teach the horse new things, he teaching you new things about horses, etc. Yeah. So it's kind of like it goes both ways. You gotta have a pretty sturdy relationship. The biggest thing is to develop a bond with them. Once you develop a bond, they'll go the extra mile for you. Yeah, and yeah. with you, literally. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So now, where was talking rumble? Uh, I'm not sure. Okay. I'm not sure. What it's About how old? Uh, he's like four years old. Oh, you're four. So when are they considered adults? They are adults at, after two years old. After adults. two years old. Okay. So you're a grown horse. Horses is, is kind of like dog bears. Okay. Dog is like seven to one. Okay. So then really, Talking Drum is about 20 years old. Mm -hmm. So Talking Drum older than you. I see. I see Talking Drum. Oh, I see. I saw your hoof move. To the drums. I saw that. Uh-huh. 
Don't be shy now. Don't be shy talking drum. I already saw you. So I can tell you an African hawk. He like to move to the drum. I saw that. Yes, that's a good thing. That is a very good thing. So yes, I know soon you want to go and eat. Did we interrupt your eating for you to come take this little ride up here? What do you feed them? They eat sweet feed and hay, and the people from the village often bring them uh, apples, carrots, sugar cubes. Oh, okay. Apples. So next time I see you, I have to bring some apples for you. No, nah, this one I ain't apple eat. I don't like the apples. What you like, sugar? I think he more of a sugar guy. Ah, I started to say I would bring you sugar cubes, but then I thought we want to keep your teeth nice, so I wasn't going to bring you that, but if that's what you like. You do? Okay, yes, you're nodding. All right. So I will bring sugar cubes next time. Okay? I'll think of you the next time I actually go over to England where they always have sugar cubes to drop in a spot of tea as well. All right? Yeah, your ears really went up on that one. You like something unique, right? Yeah, I know. You don't want that old sack sugar. That old kind. I know. Oh, you rolled your eyes on that. Oh, yes. So you really vibe it with me. Oh, I like talking to you talking to me. I like talking to you. We can communicate. Yes, yes. So this y'all dollar gichi hall. Any? Uh huh. For true. Uh huh. I got you. You like sugar too. I hope you ain't drinking sweet tea though. You know diabetes is a problem in our community. We don't want the horses to develop that. No. Don't roll your eye at me. You know, you know it's true. Somebody done told you that, right? Tell them don't be giving you too much sugar. Uh huh. <laughs> And so, how often do you take them for rides? Like, is it a problem if you ride a horse too long during the day? I mean, what types of things do you do to keep talking drum healthy and safe? You know, like we ride them once. Sometimes we ride them once every day. Sometimes we ride them every other day. But the training process, we ride them like once a day. every day just to get them going until they get to understand what we really do, expect them to do. Do, okay. And then once they start doing that and responding the way in which we want them to, we kind of give them, you can do it every other day. Every other day. Or once, twice a week. Riding along the trails, riding through the village, getting used to people, kids coming up to them. Yeah. Like that. Then after we finish riding them, I mean, after we finish that, we take them on a good little ride, we go down. I need the third bridge. Oh, you do? Trail down there. Okay. Come up on the back side, go to the store, ride around the back. Oh, we nice. Just get them get used to seeing different things, get them used to hearing cars passing into the bridge, because all that is like a new experience. A new experience, you know? yeah. So you want them to be as gentle as possible so they can make the best horses as possible. Excellent. And we finish washing them every time we ride them, we wash them down, we bathe them. Bathe them. That way we get a better bond with them. They understand that we ain't had just to ride them, we gonna take care take of them. Take care of them. Good too. Right, right. And that all helps strengthen your bond with them. With them, yeah. That is beautiful. I like your hair do too. They hooked your hair up when they did it. It looks very nice. You look very nice today talking to them. Yeah. So this is the ride for today, or was no. there a ride earlier today? No, we fixed, actually we hadn't gone on that ride yet. Okay. We just came up, bring him up, because he's fixing to do a speech on this, on the back. Absolutely. So we're going to do that, then I got to run down to Buford for a brief moment, and we're going to come back. I just bought my horse over there today. Today? Oh, that's where y'all went. He said you were bringing another horse over. We're talking drum, it was nice chatting with you, and I'm going to see you a little later. You'll bring the Oba over? So the Oba can talk to me? Yes? Okay. Peace and blessing. See you soon. Alafia. Dabo. Wait. Alafia. Alafia, new. How are you? How are you? <laughs> oh, he got my talking drum. Yeah, this is talking drum. I talk it drum. Was it. Was it. I see. That was it. He knows the rituals already of when the queen shows up. Okay, that's your position. Ah, so now, okay. yes. So, so how have you been, Boba? Been well. Thank you very much. Good, much good, appreciation good. for the Gullah Gitche Nation Appreciation Music Week. Yes, yes. 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 My chef. We're and so glad you're there. As true to uh, our promise. Yes. Yeah, so, uh, proclamation we like to issue. Excellent. And, 
everyone is on board this year. So many people called me and told me, you're the most famous queen I know. For famous than the Queen Elizabeth. See? That's a good thing. I share. I share. I share. I share. So now, this is it. Alafia. Alafia. Ah, let's see. Oh, wonderful. So now, honey, chilling, you see? This is the true African way to do things. You see, the king rides up on the horse and has the proclamation. I know Hunter Chilling, they used to see African people like that, they think like that. But what Hunter should know is that Gullah Geechees were the original cowboys. Ashe. We were the ones that originally did the open cattle raising Ashe. and also were the ones that were riding the horses. Many of you know us now as Seminole, Afro Seminole, Black Seminole. Seminole Indian scouts that rode the horses for the other side, but we really rode them before that for we had sure. history, history. All right. History, history. Yes. And our story. So Oba. Oda. A royal proclamation, today's date, July 24th, 2016. Whereas Oyotunji African Village was founded in 1970 and remains today in the heart of the Gullah Geechee Nation. Whereas His Royal Majesty Oba Adejiyigbe E A O Adefumi Oloyo Tunji and Queen Kwet, Chiefess and Queen of the Gullah Geechee Nation, have fostered and maintained a commitment of leadership dedicated to the celebration of self determination in the communities they serve. Whereas the 2016 International Gullah Geechee Music and Heritage Festival will be held in Charleston, South Carolina as its, its, as its theme. Its theme is a celebration of self-determination. Whereas Oyotunji African Village remains deeply invested in the continuation of community events that advance the cultural restoration of all of the residents of the Gullah Geechee Nation. Whereas Queen Quet, Chiefess of the Gullah Geechee Nation, has throughout the years been a loyal supporter of all cultural events here at Oyotunji African Village, Ashe. dedicated to the preservation of the customs and traditions of all descendants of West Africa. Yes, Ashe. His Royal Majesty, Oba Adejiyigbe Adefumi, as the crown of the Yorubas of North America, does hereby proclaim on this 24th day of July 2016, we proclaim that the Gullah Geechee National Appreciation shall be observed and celebrated July 30th through August 7th, 2016, and every year uh, from now on until eternity. Ashe. Furthermore, His Royal Majesty Adefumi pledges to continue allegiance, loyalty, and resolve to all future collaborations between the Kingdom of Oyotunji and the Gullah Geechee Nation itself. And we say, Ashe. 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 Well, as we say in the Gullah Geechee Nation, Amen. Amen. Thank you, thank you. Amen. Amen. Now, Hunter Chiller, this is the first time Hunter Yeti or Yoruba singing. Amen. Okay, then. And that's how we do. I always say to the Oba that you are first Yoruba Gullah Geechee born in the Gullah Geechee Nation. I've been born right here. We hey. Right here. We talk about. Okay, then. Hey, Mama, you better tell them. Right here for this, your soil and things like that. And we are so pleased and I am so blessed by having this done with the talking drum signaling the proclamation and with you riding talking drum. Talking drum and I, we had a great conversation and you went and did just what you said you were going to do. You were going to bring the Oba back because the Oba had something to tell me, right? Yes, your hair still looks great and you dressed the Oba up perfectly for this and brought the Oba back for me so that you all look great together, right? You say, he, you can't be sharp and the Oba not be, right? Exactly. It's so wonderful. Now, we don't know if when the Oba gets wet, if any of his circles will turn indigo blue. We learned that the talking drums, circles, yeah. and edges turn indigo, indigo blue. blue yeah. But we do know that, you know, others speak of this word blue blood, but hair is royalty. True blood, okay? True blood for true from al -Kibulan, the motherland, Mother Africa. Still yet living our traditions, living our culture, and we thank you, thank you to the kingdom of Oyo Tunji inside the Gullah Geechee Nation Gullah for being Geechee. part of the Gullah Geechee Nation Ashe. celebration Ashe. all this year week for Gullah Geechee appreciation. Ashe. 
So take it, take it, talk it, drop. And so you keep on talking, drop. You keep on taking care of the Oba for me. And I will see all of you very soon. Okay? Adabo. 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 Come on, Achilla. There you go. Probably going to get a sugar cube now. Very sweet. Peace and blessings.